Morning everybody and welcome back to Bearded Goblin Gaming. Uh, today we've got kind of a two-part video. Uh, we're going to do some 55 gallon oil drums or whatever chemical you want to put in them uh, in my version of the pallets. Um, so we'll start with the oil drums. Uh, this is a quick, cheap, easy one. What you're going to need is some half inch uh, CPVC pipe. You can get this in 10 foot lengths from Home Depot or most of your hardwood stores, hardware stores, uh, for about four bucks a stick. So that's over 120 barrels. I make mine at seven eighths of an inch long. So it's over 120 barrels you're going to get out of one stick. And if you're doing a big industrial area, it's going to go pretty quick. So what I'm going to do first is I'll just take and mark one of these one inch spots at the 7 eighths mark. Now I've already got mine cut down quite a bit, but you're going to want one of these plastic pipe cutters. They're fairly cheap. I don't think I spent over 10 bucks on this. So all I was doing was going through. You might want to give yourself some more space. I didn't really. And just mark out your 7 eighths of an inch there. We'll just do a couple quick ones. Three, four, five. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you get this nice and level. Otherwise your barrels are going to lean left or right. And just give it a light squeeze. Just a little bit of turn action there. One. And you'd be able to run through and get all these cut out just nice and quick. Let's do one more here. Okay, so there's three quick ones cut out. Nope, first one's a little long for some reason, so we'll just toss that one away. Next, you want to get some masking tape here, and all I did. You're going to want to try and go pretty thin. There's one strip already cut. Uh, I'd say maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Just take your piece, and run it down. Now you're going to want to go in, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe less. Just depends. Just eyeball it, whatever looks good to you. This one's a little thick, so I'm going to use my old one. And just wrap that in your uh, where your barrel has those little uh, raised section on it. So just give you a little bit of that. And at this scale, it'll look just fine. So just run it around. You see the stick doesn't really... Do all that good overlap it a little bit so you know it'll at least hold on to itself mm. there you go see it doesn't look too bad so do up a bunch of those and then uh Once you've got a fair number of them made, I did mine in group batches of 10. Uh, you can do this two different ways. And I, I don't know, it just depends. Uh, I did it this way with the cardstock. All you're gonna do, you're only ever gonna see one side of them unless you're gonna have them laying on their side. Uh, so just take your hot glue and you're just gonna fill up one side and then stick it to the glossy side. And you're just gonna run down, leave yourself some gaps in between. And you know, you can do these in multiple rows, you can cut your rows so that way they're individuals. And just line all these up on here. And you're gonna take them out and spray paint them. I did mine with a base white. And the card stock there, then you just all you have to do cut one free, just 
go around it real quick. Cut off all your excess. And then I just go around the top. Shave it down this way. Sharp blade works better. This one's all ready to be replaced. So you got that. You can see it's got a little bit of a raise there. Sometimes I'll just go through and shave it down just a little bit more. I cut a little bit too much off there. It's got the hole. But if you're going to do a rotted out barrel or anything on the top, it'll be just fine. The other way you might want to do it is take your hot glue gun and just fill it up with, fill that top up with glue. And just take your finger and wet it so you don't stick to the glue. Just kind of smooth it out. The wetter your finger, the better. And that one, it's got a little bit of an indent on it. So it's going to give you that recessed uh, top. After that, you can pretty much paint them whatever color you want. Um, I went through with uh, kind of a canary yellow on some of mine and a little brown wash and just section them out and they don't look too bad there. Uh, variety, if you're going to... Alright, next we're going to work on palettes. So what you're going to want to do is you want to get your pop dart box or whatever you want back out again. Take your ruler and your knife and you're going to want four strips. Uh, I'm a little less than a quarter. Just going to strip it out into four. We have four cut here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it uh, paper side down. You want the glossy side you're going to glue to. I'm just going to lay it out. I've got my marks here on the board about a quarter inch apart. You want your outside to your inside uh, a little bit wider. So if your two on the inside are a little close together, it, it should be just fine. Fills a decent space. Take your masking tape here. Make sure you get these so they're laid out nice and flat when you tape them down. Okay, and all I do is I've got these mini wood sticks. They come in a pack of 500. You're going to take them and you're just going to cut them in half. So, put my knife. Those are a little off, so we'll go a little bit farther back. You're just going to need four per pallet, so if you want to just sit and get all these pre cut and out of the way, you're going to take your wood glue. I prefer wood glue over Elmer's. Just squirt out a little bit here in this bottle cap. Just take your Q tip. And a little bit of glue down one side. Just start on one end. If you got a little bit too much space, just pick up your tape. Scoot it under. Take it down, go to the other side. There's a little bit of variation across the thing. You're fine. You know your palettes are going to look just fine. Sometimes you might have to use the glue itself just to hold them in place. 
This one, there's actually a fold in the box I didn't notice when I put it down, so it's going to give us a little bit of trouble. Just run along. Put it on your four sticks. You're just going to do that all the way across. Once you're done, uh, I'd suggest doing this on a piece of cardboard that way you can move it out of the way and move on to something else. So once it is dry, you just cut in between and leave yourself maybe a sixteenth of an inch overhang on the pallet, uh, sometimes an eighth, it just varies. And when you're done, you're going to end up with just a big pile of these. You can see it's just the brown paper. And from there, I just take a little bowl here. I made some light brown wash. If you want, you can mix in some brown paint with it. Darken it up just a bit. Just take your paintbrush. Just go ahead and paint that into it. When you're done, if you want, uh, I've got one, I just dry brushed it with a light tan just to bring it and give it a little bit of wood grain look. I don't, I don't worry about the bottoms. Uh, you're not really going to see them much. It was a little bit of warping, but once I'm done, uh, most of mine uh, are going to have something else stacked on top of them. So the barrels... Let me sit here. Stack them up. I have other ones here. Uh, these ones I painted blue. And just glue them straight to the pallet. I mean, they got a little bit of bend to them, but they're fairly sturdy. Uh, if I want to put a band around them to, you know, simulate them for transport or whatever, they should be fine. Then you can just stack up pallets, lean them. Everything should be good that way. Take some of your garbage bags. Don't know why you transport garbage on a pallet. But. Uh, there you go. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, go ahead and uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.